We already have two outlets at the top of this class, one for image view and one for intensity. We need another property in which we'll store a UI image containing the image that user selected. So I'll add below that another property. Var current image is a UI image implicitly unwrapped. Our first task will be to import a photo from the user's photo library. This is almost identical to project 10, so I'll explain only the important bits. First, we'd add a button to the navigation bar that will allow users to import a photo from their library. We'll hide the space in the right here. And in view to load, we're going to say first title equals YACIFP. And the navigation bar, we're going to say animation item dot right bar button item is a UI bar button item with the bar button system item dot add. The target self and the action hash selector import picture. A method does not exist just yet. Okay, so this line here, title, that's not needed. It just sets title to be YACIFP, which is short for yet another core image filters program. Because trust me, the app store is full of these things. If you're feeling less cynical than me, try using something like Insta filter for the title instead, like that. What matters though is the second line, because it's going to call a method called import picture, which hasn't written yet, which will start the import process. This is the same as project 10, so let's go straight to it. We'll say uh, func, or well, object C func even, object C func import picture. Let picker equals a UI image picker controller. Picker dot allows editing is true. Picker dot delegate is self. That'll have an error for a minute, but that's okay. Then present that picker animated true. Now, if you recall, assigning ourselves to the delegate of the picker is problematic. So we've got to conform to two protocols to do that. Let's do that now. We'll say view controller is a UI view controller that conforms to UI image picker controller delegate, comma, UI navigation controller delegate. Boom. These two are required to be a delegate of the UI image picker controller. Now in this project, we're loading and saving pictures with a photo library, which we've got to try and provide a permission string to the user, which I will show saying why we want to use a photo library. We did this previously back in project three to save pictures there. We'll do it again now. You open info.plist. You want to right click, I go back to the regular editor. You want to right click in the uh, blank space here and choose add row. And from there, you want to scroll down to find the privacy section under P and look for photo library additions. This one here, photo library additions. Choose that. That's a string. So we're going to pass in here. We need to work with your photo library. Boom. That's our permission string right there. As before, we have to implement a method in our view controller for when the user selects a picture using the image picker. So back in view controller at Swift again, we'll add a method down here called did finish picking media with info. We'll pull out the image first by saying guard let image equals info and then the edited image key as question mark UI image, else bail out, so I'm going wrong. We'll dismiss immediately the uh, image picker controller and we'll assign that image to our current image property so we can start modifying it with our filters. And there is that one slight change there at the end. We, on line 33, we assign that image to be our current image property. This is required to have a copy of what was originally imported. Because when the user changes the image filter, we're going to put that original image back into the filter each time. This has all been old code, nothing too taxing, but now it's time for core image.